guys, welcome to Nana's Corner. My channel is all about learning to DIY, craft, and cook without spending a lot of money. If that's what you're looking for, be sure to subscribe and then click on the bell when it appears so you won't miss when I upload something new. And if you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know you'd like to see more. Hi guys, to make this tabletop project that I'm making, I wanted to show you how easy it is. It's just made out of glasses, um, vases, fish bowls, whatever you know you can find at the Dollar Tree or whatever you have on hand, and some acrylic paints, and tea lights. Whether you want to use the battery operated tea lights or candles, real candles, I mean that's your preference. Um, it's really simple and I've already done two I just wanted to show you just a quick video of how it's done you can get you could don't have to do the faces but I will show you how to do the faces and you can just do it as a pumpkin as well so that's that one and then we have this one which is a, got a little fancier top and I wanted to show you how you can Kind of get a more realistic feel when you paint it it's really simple nothing extravagant instead of just trying to sit there and uh, you know get each little line which you don't really want perfect it gives you a little bit more realistic view so that's kind of what this video is about how to paint it how to get the easy uh, face on there if you want it and kind of how to put it together so let's get started first thing you want to do is make sure your glass is clean okay I mean it doesn't have to be perfect but you want to clean it up make sure there's no greasy fingerprints on there or anything like that okay and then you're gonna want some painters tape or washi tape just this is gonna make your your face and you can make your face as simple extravagant as you want you don't have to do a face if you just want to do a pumpkin um, you'll still be able to see if you put a candle in there it'll flicker um, but it won't give you the jack-o-lantern effect so you just kind of make any shape you want make your eyes kind of judge okay how big are they gonna be you know if what kind of nose you want We'll just make another big triangle for our nose. Maybe put it the opposite way. And then for the face, I mean, the mouth. Let's see. Eh, that's about the right size. And just kind of make any kind of mouth you want to make. Okay, then what you're going to do is just take out take your your craft knife and cut each piece out so let me go ahead and cut those out off camera and then you just gonna stick them on wherever you want them on your glass okay I'll be right back okay so I have the tape on just make sure that you smooth it down you want to make sure your edges are stuck um, so your paint doesn't go under it, but if it does a little bit that's fine because once it dries and you take off the tape You can just use uh, your blade and just scrape it off and it won't scratch the grass the the glass <laughs> Oh, I'm having a little bit of difficulty with my words today, but There we go. We got the tape on like I said, you can use painters tape washi tape um, any kind of tape that is going to be able to be removed without leaving the stickiness behind. I wouldn't suggest duct tape or anything that strong. Just something, you know, that's going to stick, but you'll be able to get it off too. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take out some acrylic paints. And I'm just using um, Martha Stewart paints. You can get... Um, this is what I have on hand. Um, you can get them in Walmart, um, any craft store, anything that you have on hand. And I'm kind of I'm using the color carrot for the orange. Um, use what you have. You know, it's not necessary to use what exact colors I'm using because 
make it your own. And then I have folk art paint, and this one is lemon custard. It's an acrylic paint as well. And then for the brown, the darker spots, I'm using raw umber, which is also acrylic. And these, you get, they're artist loft. You can get them, I think, in any craft store. I mean, it's not a real expensive paint. Um, but use what you have. Use what you have on hand. And we're going to use that I, a sponge to dab it on to cover. And I just got these cosmetic wedges. You can, I believe you can get them. I got these in HEB, but I believe you can get them in Dollar Tree as well. Nothing, ex, in ex, not nothing expensive. Just something. Just use a regular sponge that you have at the house. Just something to dab the paint on, because if you brush it, your first coat on, it's going to be streaky and it's not going to really cover that well, and you'll have to do more coats. Okay, but if you don't have a, a sponge, that's fine. Just paint it on, and we're just going to. I'm mixing the yellow and the orange just to give it that different effect, highlights, and and things. Um, you don't have to. You can just do one straight base coat of the orange or the yellow if you want because you're going to paint over it again. So um, I had this out already from the ones that I did. So I'm just going to use that up so I don't waste it. And you don't have to really blend it. I mean, if you can see, I have both the yellow and the orange and you can see it. it's not totally mixed. And you're just going to kind of blot over it doesn't have to be too too thick because like I said you're gonna do your actual painting over it this is just to give the extra the other paint the other layers something to grab onto and if you want don't want to use your colors if you have more white by all means go ahead and do your white I just use this because I have enough of it and if I don't happen with the brush to get the whole thing covered then I you know the white wouldn't be showing through but by all means use what you have this is just a base coat there's no rules and you're just gonna go ahead and paint this whole At the end there, I, am, I happen to dab into a little bit of the brown, but that's okay because you're going to mix that in anyway. Pumpkins are not perfect. This is just going to, I mean, it's not going to be a perfect pumpkin. Yes, it'll be a little bit more um, realistic than if you just did a straight flat orange and then tried to paint some straight lines. And it's not going to be hard at all. You can do it. I'm, by all means, I am not a professional painter. A fine artist painter. I am a, a, a crafty painter. Okay. So we have that done all around. And we're going to let that dry before we go any further. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back. And it's dry to the touch. It only took a few minutes. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some piles of paint. Okay. We're going to take some yellow. Squeeze that out. We'll take some orange and oop, wrong one. That one hasn't been opened yet. And some squeeze out some orange. That one's getting low on me. And then some of your darker color, raw umber, brown, whatever you you have on hand, like I said. And get your paintbrush. You want to wet it. Um, but you don't want it too wet. You want it wet enough so the paint will flow. But you want to tap it off on a paper towel. and Just have a little bit of water in there. Okay? And then basically what you're going to do is, it's, it's not very difficult at all. It's almost silly to make a video, but I know some people don't have confidence in the painting. Just be confident in yourself. You're not going to mess up. Just stick one corner of the paintbrush in the yellow. 
kind of get the middle dab it in the orange get a little bit of orange on there and then a little bit of the brown on the other corner so you have it just lined up like that and what you're going to do is just slide the brush and kind of mix it together blend it you're not getting you're not mixing it all together to make another color you're just kind of stroking it lightly so that the colors will blend okay and then you just want to take and put it on from the top and just go swipe it straight down and then if you don't have enough coverage just go straight back up and you'll get kind of a blended effect and then you're just going to do the same thing you're just going to keep doing that if you need to add more paint just dab a little bit on there mix it a little bit so you don't have such stark divisions and then you're just gonna do it again now see I have a little bit too much water on my brush and it's letting the the paints um, flow off too much now it looks bright and if you don't like that color if you don't if it's too much of a highlight just adjust your colors put a little bit more orange in there and hold off on the yellow it's just a matter of trial and error it's what you like because let's face it no two pumpkins are alike and keep going with it just have fun just smear it on need a little bit more brown just smear it in there and you'll get these effects and if you go back over it it'll lighten it back up but it'll, when it sits dry and finished you're gonna see that you get a really nice effect see let me go show you I'll go back over this yellow I feel okay that's too much yellow right there so go in with a little bit of the other colors go back in with the brown you know go back in with the orange and because you put that base coat on there you can go over it more than once and it will stick because it has something to grab to okay and like I said this is you can do another coat after this if you don't like if you got too much yellow too much orange this time too much brown the next coat you go over and just eliminate that color a little bit more just have fun that's the whole point of crafting each pumpkin is gonna come out different and at the end it's amazing what you come up with see there's too much yellow there so I'm gonna take my orange and I'm gonna spread that in there and it'll blend right out and once it's dry like I said look at it are you happy with it if not go over it again painting is forgiving don't be afraid just get in there and try it and you'll be surprised at what you can make happen it's more of an illusion than actually trying to paint what you th actually see you're just trying to fool the eye into thinking what you want it to let this dry and then you can come back and we'll experiment some more and if you're happy with it then leave it that way you don't have to put another coat if you can hey it came out just the way I want it then that let it be and I think I'm pretty happy with this so I may not have to do another coat once it's dry though you want to make sure that you have enough coverage that you're not seeing straight through the glass okay because once you put a candle in there it's gonna brighten it up and you'll see more 
of your your glass it'll be more transparent okay and once it's dry we'll take off the face okay now it's dry and you can see once it's dry it really gives it a more realistic effect I'm trying to show you where the light is not cutting it but you see let's come over here a little bit there you see the highlights and the shadows where it actually gives it the effect that it's bumpy that you have those um, little you know ridges that are in a pumpkin I mean it's not fine art but it does make it a whole lot realistic now this is the point once it's dry if you did do a face to make it a jack-o-lantern all you're gonna do is take your the edge of your blade your craft knife and pick up at a corner lift your tape and pull it off now you see how let's see can you see it there's a little bit that seeped under it's no problem all you do is take the edge of your blade and just lightly scrape it off I mean if it bothers you if not if you want it to be like you know the little hairs when you do cut an actual pumpkin that's fine too you do you and you just lift it up get a corner pull it off see we got a little bit more no biggie don't get on yourself think oh I messed it up no you didn't mess it up there's no such thing as a mess up in crafting it's just another opportunity remember that crafting supposed to be fun not stress you out mouth off and there you go I'll just use the blade scrape that off a little bit even it out not gonna make it perfect and there you have it your your jack-o-lantern now these are dual you can if you some people I know decorate for fall and then they decorate for Halloween and then they put their fall back up and take the Halloween down for Thanksgiving time and with this you can face it this way for Halloween with the tea light in it and you have your jack-o-lanterns then once Halloween's over just turn it around and you have a pumpkin and that's for fall Thanksgiving the whole season okay now let me show you I already have from last year I made uh, these holders okay and all it is is a simple Dollar Tree candlestick holder this one is two one on top of the other and then this part I didn't have an extra but this part all it is is a glass um, candle holder a flat one that you put you know the big pillar candles on um, and those are in the Dollar Tree as well and all I did was take some E6000 glue puts a glue on here stuck them together let it dry best to let it dry overnight this one I did a little smaller so we have different heights it's just the one candlestick holder with the plate on it same thing then once they were dry I just took some cheap spray paint and spray painted the whole thing okay and you can see some of it peeled off but that's where our pumpkins gonna go so that's gonna be covered okay so then you just some leaves that they have in Dollar Tree you can decorate it you can ooh, that's a little tall you can just hot glue them on in spaces and decorate it the way you want to decorate it so I hoped you enjoyed this video if you did let me know let me know in the comments below if you do celebrate Halloween and if you do take your 
have different decorations for Halloween and fall and if you switch them around um, I'm really interested in that I kind of just do one type of decoration I'm into pumpkins and scarecrows and that way I don't have to keep switching everything out every once in a while I'll put a you know spiders and all that kind of stuff but something simple that I can switch out um, let me know below I'm really interested in that and subscribe to my channel hit like if you like the video let me know if you want some more um, hit the bell so that you know uh, when I upload videos